Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna and today I'm back with another Lush review for you. And today I have the Yummy Mummy Shower Cream. Now this shower cream here, this specific one, uh, has been released in 2021 uh, as a part of sort of the Mother's Day range uh, offering at Lush Australia. Uh, it has not been released anywhere else in the world yet, as far as I know. They used to have the Yummy Mummy Shower Cream many years ago. I'm not sure if it was a mainline product or just for a Mother's Day thing back then. Um, I didn't get a ton of information on that uh, in my research. Um, but nevertheless, it hasn't been around for a few years and it's made a bit of a comeback now. Uh, now, I don't have any information at this stage whether this will be coming to North America or UK or... Uh, wherever else you may be in the world. So yeah, it's a little bit unusual that they've done an Australian exclusive product. They usually don't do Australian exclusive products. Um, and yeah, I'm happy as an Australian, but I also am kind of unhappy for you guys in other parts of the world who are keen to try it for yourself. So I'm going to talk about some of the ingredients. I'm going to talk about um, how I felt using this product, what I felt the scent was like for me and all that sort of thing. So let's get into it. So this product has water, glycerine, sodium lauryl sulfate, sodium cocoa ampho acetate. It's got stearic acid, glycerol sterate, uh, some other sort of bits and pieces like that there. It's got fair trade organic cocoa butter. It's got geranium oil, Brazilian orange oil, Tonka Absolute, and some other little bits and pieces. Now, the scent notes for this shower cream don't really tell the whole story. So I'm gonna somewhat ignore what the scent notes are saying um, because it just doesn't line up with what the scent is actually about. So for those of you who might be newer to Lush, you might not know what Yummy Mummy smells like or what that sort of entails. Uh, it is basically from the same scent family as the Roller scent family. Some of you may remember the body spray uh, which got discontinued uh, at the end of 2020 uh, we have had the roller bath bomb in the past we've had yummy mummy um, shower jellies and body lotions and things like that in the past they recently had a yummy mummy body conditioner in the kitchen subscription box uh, which i have purchased from someone and that will be coming my way very soon as well um, so if you're familiar with any of those products you will know what this smells like if you're not familiar with any of those products Basically, it is a, a sweet strawberry smell. There we go. Three S's in a row. Um, and it does smell like a genuine strawberry smell. It doesn't smell fake. You know how a lot of brands, when they do a strawberry smell, it can smell a little bit fake and a little bit too sweet and just not very nice. Um, this is not like that at all. It is quite sweet. If you don't like sweet scents, you will not like this. But... Um, it does have that real strawberry scent as well to it. Like it does smell like a real strawberry. And I do think some of the citrus notes going on here help with that and help make it smell more real, which is a good thing. Uh, there is vanilla in this. Uh, well, Tonka, which is a vanilla scent. I don't get a ton of vanilla from this scent. Uh, I just don't. Um, it's more of, I think the vanilla sort of acts as more of a smoothener in terms of a scent thing in this. Um, vanilla tends to have that effect whenever vanilla is added into scents if it's not explicitly smelling like vanilla it's basically been added to smooth out the scent and sort of carry it in a really nice way you'll notice that a lot you'll notice a lot of products have vanilla in them especially at Lush um, and that's why it's not to make it smell like vanilla necessarily it could be for that reason as well uh, now my thoughts on the actual product and how I felt using it I really, really enjoyed this product. Um, I generally love the shower creams at Lush. Now, unfortunately, the only shower cream that is currently in the all year round range at Lush is the OT Creamy Dreamy, and they are going to be getting rid of that, um, as far as I know, in Australia and North America. I don't know about the UK. I've been receiving some mixed information on that, so I won't say anything more about that. But it seems that Lush is phasing out shower creams all together at this stage which is kind of sad but it's great to see one back and basically you can sort of understand the difference already between the shower gel and the shower cream the shower cream has obviously got a creamier texture it's um not like the see-through look that a gel has um and it's more creamy in terms of the way it lathers on the body it doesn't sort of get super soapy or anything like that it's more excuse me it's more of that sort of creamy 
um, sort of milky kind of effect on the skin. And I really, really love this product. We're heading into winter in Australia at the moment because um, we're in the Southern Hemisphere. So we're going from autumn slash fall into winter um, soon-ish. And uh, I think this is a great product for that time of year. And I think this is a great product if you have drier skin, um, maybe not sensitive skin, just because um, as many of you will know, Lush products do have quite a lot of scent in them and it's not always appropriate for sensitive skin. But... In saying all that, I really, really enjoy this product. I think it is my favorite shower gel, shower cream product at the moment. Um, I've tried a lot of shower gels and shower creams. This is definitely, um, I think this is my number one at the moment and it's definitely in my top five overall that I've ever tried. So it is definitely a five out of five rating. It's, it's a 10 out of five if I can make it a 10 out of five. So yes, I really enjoy this product. If you are in Australia, please do buy it. Um, also, you may, if you are overseas, you may have to look into a forwarding service at this stage if you do want um, to get the product from the Australian site. So, yeah, that's something you'll have to decide for yourself. But, yes, I do think it's worth it. And if you are a fan of the Yummy Mummy slash Roller scent, I don't think you'll be disappointed. It's very, very true to what the scent is all about. So thank you so much for watching this video. I sincerely appreciate all the support I get on this channel. Please stay tuned for more Lush reviews like this. And until next time, take care and I hope to see you again real soon. Bye for now.